Hi all. So as promised in our introduction video, today we are going to start our first series that will be on Microsoft Excel and this is the first video of our series. So we will start with the introduction of Microsoft Excel. So this video is not for someone who knows Excel already, but then this is for someone who is about to start his career and then for any students, any school going student, this is going to be beneficial. So let's start. So what exactly is Microsoft Excel? So Microsoft Excel is one of the spreadsheet available in the market. Now what is spreadsheet? So spreadsheet is an arrangement of rows and column. When these rows and column get together, they form table. What do these table contain? So these table contain data. What sort of data? So it can be raw data or a sorted one or we can say summarized one. So for a student who has never seen Microsoft Excel or who don't even understand what is row and what is column, for them I am going to get a pictorial representation here. So when these vertical lines and horizontal lines intersect each other, it form an arrangement of cell. So all these are known as cell and then in order to name it, we name the vertical one as A, B, C, D, E column and all these horizontal one as 1, 2, 3, 4 rows. So anything which is vertical will be referred to as column. And anything which is horizontal will be referred to as rows. Let's quickly understand the significance of it now. So first is tables are used to store data. Second, data stored can be used to make summarized data. Third, it can be used to take much needed decision. Now let's quickly understand what do I mean by all these points. For illustration purpose, I have kept this employee details table which is being maintained by a HR in a company. Now if you look at all these vertical arrangements, these are known as columns. And all these horizontal ones are known as rows. And when these intersect, they form cells. And when these multiple cells came together, they form a record. Okay. In a single row, we, we can refer it as a record. Now looking at this table, we can say Aaron Garza is an employee of this company who is vice president. He is in IT department. His ethnicity is Asian. Age must be 57. This is his higher date. It must be his annual salary. And then the United States is the country he belongs to. Now let's understand the points we mentioned under significance. So first was we can use it to store data. So by now you must have understood how we can use this table to store data. 
right now second point was we can use this data to make a summarized one so what do i mean by this our table may contain many thousand of records right and then for a rookie or even a mature person it may not be possible to get the gist of the data by just looking into this table right so what do i mean by this is based on some conditions we can create a pivot table which is much easy to understand and grasp so for example we can understand from this pivot table that there are 13 employees working from brazil there are 19 from china and then 71 from united states and then we can also see the breakups within those countries as in which job role they are working under so our third point was it can be used to take much needed decision so we know we can create pivot tables right and these pivot tables are helpful for management guys to understand identify if there are some pain areas and which needs management attention for example if a department is overpopulated or underpopulated they can go for a decision like hiring or firing while we have discussed these three significances please keep in mind they are not even the tip of the iceberg and then we need to know a lot and then we need to discuss a lot so in next video we will discuss about cell and their address scheme and yes for any question or queries you can reach out to me on the email id which is being shown to you on the screen and as mentioned in my introduction video that's what my belief is unless i'll be able to answer all the unanswered queries i'll not be successful so please help me in being successful by helping you all and i am assuming that you have already watched my video if not Kindly watch it because then only you will be able to understand my agenda and get the benefit out of my videos. So do watch it. The link is being given in the description below. So till then, keep up your good work and continue learning. Thank you.